the gank. They're actually rotating on mid. Even going for a courier snipe, maybe? No, back to the bottom lane. And Savage Raw is the big problem here. You've got to try and play and maneuver around it. And while this is happening, again, Fear's looking to make a move on mid. He's trying to set up. He's going to roll in simultaneously. They converge on Universe. They get the Hex off. It looks like two potential kills. QO, very low in the mid lane. One more auto attack. Oh, he lives! Barely! The boy that lived! The poor man shield saving his life. Good job there down at the rune. So MVP getting a, a slight edge. They'll grab the... Early regen rune here for Fabian. They're gonna make another play on the bottom lane, but at the same time in the mid lane, is gonna get caught up. Pops the fairy fire. This time, EG will get the kill. And it looks like Universe is gonna scout out MVP's rotation. Well, we've got three points in the Spectral Dagger by level five. Now they do see Universe, but the real question is, do they have any chance of killing him? Spectre has Haunt now. They can go for this. It looks like they're going to. They just got level 6 in MP. They move in. Surprise! But not quite enough to get the kill. They want to get the Spear Bear and the hero. <laughs> Tried to get MP both. was going for the greed play and it might have worked, but he decides to be safe. Gets the hero set. Meanwhile, mid lane. Roll forward. QO again dodging away from these. The Siphon comes through. They do manage with the kick to bring QO low. He's got the bottle charges though, but he can't juke Sumail. Another death here. Not having his customary hot start. Yeah. Radiant Universe, if he dies here, he's gonna lose his bear for a very long time. There's face boots on MP. But the TP comes in. Febby dropping low to this. Yeah, TP ends up getting cancelled and now the rotation. Fear all over the place this time. It is a connection. Angry Hirsa will chew up that deer. Take the Roshan down. There is a haunt available, but can they fight into this pit? MVP have two heroes. Sumail's here with the exorcism. This is very risky. Maybe MVP just trying to snipe somebody. They do get a silence off on the QO, and he drops quickly in the river with the exorcism. It's enough for a kill. EG also claiming the Aegis. They put it. Although not the biggest loss for them. Oh, uh, this could still end up being a kill. PPD, I think he's trying to break the smoke here. He does drop a ward, but he doesn't know the QO has the invis rune. They're going to get a wave of terror off. They bait out a TP rotation from an angry Ursa who pops the Mask of Madness, activates the phase boots, sprints forward towards MVP. 4M's gonna try to kite him, but uh, so much for kiting. Just dies. QO tries to assist, does what little damage he can to PPD, but now he gets controlled. He is gonna pop the magic stick, keeps him alive a bit longer, jumps back up to the high ground, but it's just MVP running for their lives. There is a haunt available from MP. He's trying to find a good time to use it, but EG stick together, leaving the Spectre with no just in prime fighting condition right now. Seems like the ideal situation here for MVP. Just avoid fights and try to split a push. But PPD looks to slow it down. There's a remnant forward. They are going to catch off the Crystal Maiden Chains. Securing the last hit. QO will grab it. MP now using the dagger to get down low. And Arteezy stunned and controlled. He might lose his Aegis early. And not for much here. Just one more imp would finish him off. But they don't find it. Meanwhile, QO, remnant down. Actually didn't quite go to the low ground, so EG can easily catch him out, but he doesn't jump to it. Continues into the trees, but go for the TP out, and Universe says, screw it, man. Time to use that Midas. Um, and PPD, very likely to go down soon. Question is, if that's what EG is, wants. Is it even worth the use it. of the finger to kill PPD? Probably not, because I think EG is actually going to look oh, to engage them. They do manage to get that beautiful entangle into Savage Roar combo, so Dubu just sits there taking the punishment, oh, tries for the swap out, it ain't going to happen, but... And sure the core doesn't know. Minimal range blink to dodge away from an impetus. But it does mean he can't make a move here bottom. So, how do you feel if you're MVP? Really bad start. You know EG's very likely to get the next Roche, but you haven't been feeding. Yep. Well, until Whoa. now, maybe. <laughs> for uh, There's the stun, though. Maybe they get oh, turned. Spectre Haunt comes in for him. not dead. Just hit the earth. Just enough to take him down. Sumail, though, keeps himself alive. Throwing himself up in the air, but they get the kill. They end the exorcism. They could look for more MVP. Dagger onto PPD and diving for this. Arteezy just TP bottom, so they know he can't come to the fight. That's their biggest damage dealer. Not participating. MVP, great decision making there. Now be careful here, pops the early enrage. He does have a basher now. If he gets that lucky bash, can probably solo kill QO. But meanwhile, top lane, Dubu's about to get caught out. EG smoke for this, they roll in onto the bend. Silence, that's a mate, and he'll, he'll try, but he ain't getting out. He's top, but he's available to join as they've smoked and headed towards mid. Yeah, it's his three-man smoke. Well, the Ember has some global presence with the travels. The Spectre is the Horn. Unfortunately, MVP, their smoke pops in a very awkward uh, position. Oh, they might so have to sacrifice Dubu again. again. Kick comes through. Fear. Uh, not going to roll in Boulder on that. He's right of eight also. Still, Dubu like, slowed down. Me. <laughs> I don't know if there's a please in there. It's like, all right, you can have me. And kind of try and see what pickoffs can come their way because they don't really want to fight EG head on at this stage of the game. Arteezy's posting up here in the mid lane, looking for his next victim. But meanwhile, top MVP about to get caught out. It looks like MP so close to his radiance. 
He's gonna get silenced. Evi also silenced. Can't save the Spectre. That will delay it by 300 gold. Plus the lost farming time. Bebby also gonna go down here. A big grab for EG. Two crucial kills of all. That was happening in the mid lane. Arteezy found a third. Not completely over, but it's pretty massive, the yeah. advantage they've piled up. Very hard game for 4 to do much. He's zero for an Enchantress, and that's just because of how much EG's They're gonna fight here. Energy. They're moving in. They hunt and engage. They want to surprise EG. Fear rolls away. MP jumping in the middle of the EG lines, and on the universe, he's gonna go, but... Big Daddy Earth is coming, they lock down MP, there's the swap out, keep him in fighting shape, can they find the kills, Blink forward, they do get the Hex and to try to lock Arteezy down, control him for now, QO's fight strikes first, killing off the Crystal Maiden before him, locked in position, clawed apart by Arteezy, and with the buyback, it's gonna be a power play now for EG, 5 on 4, Haunt is down, crucially. I think they timed it to the very second, which is the really impressive thing about that engagement, because they knew if EG reached their base with X's, they're going to lose the rack. And now that's what's going to happen, because the fight, unfortunately for MVP, they didn't get the kills, they couldn't bring down two male. He's just too tanky at this stage with the soul booster on top of the Yule's Atos. Oh, and they do. I at least have the Battle Fury here, though, so you can see the chip damage. Slowly but surely, Kyo trying to work these backline heroes down and force them out. They catch our TZ, they're gonna look to lock him down, but he manages to get off the ultimate. Starts going to work with the Bashes, they'll crack the Aegis, but they've lost three. The other two scramble back towards the well, and this leaves EG to just beat the crap out of Arax. They'll grab the melee, they look now onto the range. MVP playing from a massive deficit. Yeah, absolutely. They're not done yet though, 4F. Just the one bear, but MVP don't have the tools to really easily bring it down unless they hard commit, and that's something Qo's playing without buyback, you can't afford to do. That's the problem, you buy this battle tree, you buy this radiance, you're like, alright, we've got the high ground defend items, but you're up against exorcism, you have Aegis on the EG side, and you've got no buybacks. The only way you can try and defend is to throw your lives away, and then EG just come right back at you. Arteezy completed Abyssal Blade, and it looks like he wants to come back. They're so far behind, they've just got to take this big risk. They have the haunt. And QO moves in. Oh, he's, QO. Got, he's seen the Crystal Maiden, but he wants someone else to chains. Don't connect, but they still commit the haunt. Driving onto PPD. This could be a dieback on the Crystal Maiden for whatever that's worth. But everybody else making it back. They, QO, wants they now have it. Drawing is. MVP away from this, and QO is going to get silenced. They're going to swap in the Spear of Air Vault. They just so Dubu can get off a stun. Forever almost dying instantly to Arteezy. They're already used to this Abyssal Blade, but now they've got them on the run. No buyback on the Ember Spear. He's down and out for the count. And frantically, they beam themselves back to save. But now they've blown the haunt. They failed here on the gank. Still made a kill. He didn't even bother going for TPD. He had vision, but went for the bigger, higher priority targets. Didn't work out. And now MVP are absolutely up against it as Arteezy jumps in again. Zubu there with the swap. Arteezy lets out his frustration on the Vengeful Spirit. And she won't stand against it long. Now a second melee rack. Almost guaranteed the drop here for the side. A dagger coming in. But do they follow this up? PPD's low. MP being forced back. So an MP trying to get to work here. And Artor might be able to kill off the Ursa. That could be pretty nice for them. They silence QO though, preventing the Slate of Fist. And he will, in the end, drop. But already the melee has fallen. They need more kills. Just the Nurse is not enough for two late to Rex. But the Ghosts are returning. Bringing two male back. Nurse is the distraction. He's not even the important hero. It's the lone druid and the DP who are the, the key heroes right though. now for EG. They're chasing. Remnant forward. He's going to find two here. QO with the big hedge and MP rejoining oh, the fight. What a TP. They're looking she for more, out. but he gets away. Only fear going Radiance down. Great savage raw TP and got the silence off there as well. Just give me something for this next fight. So I imagine if you're QO as well, you're thinking like maybe a straight rapier here. Yep, rapier, absolutely. Not even a risky play, probably the only play. But oh, well, no oh, plays oh. for QO. TP's out on the high ground yeah. and just gets ripped to bits. Get up wards. They've... They're expecting the push to start around here and they want to catch them out. But Deer they will see up. Fear first. Okay. This could be big. They're going to BOT in the Ember Spirit looking for their first pickoff. But Fear gets the kickoff and it connects on three. Huge one there from the old man. Gets the silence off, dropping the Magnetize and Sumail. Starts to press forward. Four heroes affected by it. Afflicted even. And QO having just BOT'd in. Doesn't have a great way out. Down he goes. No buyback there in the Ember Spirit. In the trees as well. Your Venge has been entangled. Thrown up in the air. Pounded back down under the earth. Two more crucial deaths with no buybacks. And meanwhile, Mid's getting shoved in by Arteezy. Stills the cheese. A little midnight snack here for the Ursa.
And it looks like any second now, we'll see another kill. A big jump in, lying down. 4M trying to get work done. He's gonna double defuse him just before the Ghost Scepter, and then pops a second, securing the kill, an immediate buyback from 4M. But it's, it's, over, it's, it's, it's just all too over. much. The damage is overwhelming. The advantage, ridiculous. Arteezy pops the cheese. He laughs at MP's face. He'll make short work of him here. This Korean squad has come a long way, but EG get the best of them in game one. One last buyback for whatever it's worth. Very little in the end. EG has their number from start to finish. And MVP find themselves trailing 0-1 in the best of three. EG just had such a scary timing this game. When you hit that Lone Druid Radiance with Death Prophet Exism and you just go break the base, Ursa, well he doesn't, he's terrible at pushing himself as a hero. He's great for 